Hi, welcome to Let's Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. So if you're ready, let's get started. Hi, welcome to uh, Let's Paint Watercolours with me. And this is a £140 Bockingford paper. And I'm just re wetting a bit of the sky area. I've got the board laid flat. Just bring some water around the... Uh, sides of the mountains and we'll go in with some Sennelier orange today I'm using Sennelier watercolours into that I'm just going to drop some Indian yellow a bit more water just to uh, encourage it to flow This is some cobalt violet. Just taking out some paint. With a, a damp kitchen roll into the ground. I'll have some yellow ochre. Touch of the manganese violet. Some Indian yellow. To that we have some olive green, cobalt violet and with a touch of uh, warm sepia, a touch of grey, we're we'll putting some rocks in. So I'm just going to vary the colour, drift some colour in at the back, cobalt violet and olive green just along the shore edge put in the sun whilst we have that there it's the same cobalt violet and olive green a nice violety brown I'll we'll just put some clouds in Just pull some stringy clouds. This is just a, a dry kitchen roll. Now that the sky area is dry, <coughs> I just want to pop some Indian yellow into this mountain here where the sun's coming through. Weaker on this one, this one is more prominent. I'm going to send this one further back. Any touch of the Sennelia orange. To blend a tiny touch in here with some Snellia grey with some cobalt violet. I'm just going to feed that in and let that drift a bit. Just a hint of colour. It's a Snellia grey and cobalt violet. And you can leave that to dry as well. It's dried a bit. <clears throat> We're just going to strengthen up one or two of these cracks with a stronger colour of the Sennelia Grey and Manganese Violet. Not too much. We will be putting some crags in. We can leave that to drift. At the same time, re wetting this area where the fir trees are. Some on this side as well. to be too strong just indicate some fir trees at the back as we go further back to get a little bit weaker and you can see how once you have your trees in we can just put a bit of the green in at the back <coughs> just for a bit of variation just soften it in welcome back I've just put an extra row of uh, fir trees in the back and all I did was add some olive green to this colour and just washed it out at the bottom. <coughs> we'll paint the crags in with a mixture of uh, Sennelia Grey and Cobalt Violet.
just shape your mountain how you want them making sure they go weaker as you come around to this side and you get the general idea you can spend a great deal of time on this but I have to rush a little bit now we'll come a little bit forwards to this area here which is the scree slopes and a few rocks and we're going back to the uh, Sonilla Grey and the Cobalt Violet and we're just going to drop this in here Indian Yellow in Sonilla Orange and then we can leave that to dry a moment. I've just re-wet <coughs> where I'm going to put the fir trees in the front and this is a just colour we're putting in. This is a mixture of uh, olive green with a touch of warm sepia, sepia and a tiny touch of ultramarine and this is just to give some colour to the trees it's just to give a glow and a slightly stronger mix. It's the same colour with just a touch more French Ultramarine indicate the lay of the land soften this off in a minute that's not quite dry enough that will allow that to dry now that it's all dry, I've gone back to the Cobalt Violet and the Sonilla Grey which we have put here with a dry brush to take most of the paint off this paper does have a slight tooth on it and we'll just to indicate the scree slopes you have to do this relatively carefully very gently Pulling it down, Move to a darker tone, a bit stronger. Just here and there in places. Some one or two cracks okay. back to our trees this is the mid-tone green which is olive green Indian yellow and a touch of uh, burnt sepia oh, sorry warm sepia I will just indicate the back tree don't want it too dark, I want this to settle back into the background <clears throat> just allowing some of the background colours to show through oh, sorry about my hand on each side if you pull you get a hit and miss effect Just flicking the brush right we're just going to strengthen up the foreground so what I've done is I've re-wet the whole of the land area and I'm just going to drop some <coughs> Indian yellow in Take some of the, <clears throat> the green, bring it forward, and we'll just right underneath them. We're just going to create some shadow. Just allowing it all. 
all to mingle together. Burnt umber with a touch of ultramarine. Let's try that. This is for your real dark shadows under here. One here. Soften into the rest of the painting. Tiny touch of shadow on the back side of the hill. You can leave that so the shine goes off the paper. Now the paint's had uh, time to dry a bit, we'll just um, put in some rocks. You'll have to judge when the time is right, and uh, even I get it wrong. This is just a palette knife. Rocks up here. Some up here. And then we'll get on to the lake. I've laid the board <coughs> flat again. I've just re-wet the water area and we're just going to mimic the sky. So <coughs> I'm just going to pop in a little bit of um, Indian yellow along with some Sennelier orange. Some of the cobalt violet. Some of the brown for me sky. Again, <clears throat> you can just indicate where the fir trees are. Awesome. There, so from there. Take out a little bit bigger than it should be because the paint will drift back slightly. So we can leave that to dry a little bit. It's dried a little bit. I'm just going to pull some paint out where the tree trunks are. Okay, now that all this is dry, I've just rubbed off the uh, masking fluid and we're just going to paint tree trunks in and I've just put a little bit of uh, raw sienna up the tree trunk and I'm just dropping in one side some burnt sienna just right on the edge Grasses up. If you put them round where the tree <coughs> trunk meets the ground, you can anchor your tree in. It just hides everything. I'm just going to emphasize the bank now a little bit with some uh, burnt sienna and burnt umber. Now this has been a watercolour painting with Sennelia paints and I am really impressed with them. It's sign it, put a few glistening water lines in and frame it. Welcome back to the finished painting. Um, I've just popped in three birds here at the top and I've scratched some um, ripples in, uh, some wind streaks. So thank you very much for watching and if you've liked this video uh, please click the like button and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much.